What's not happening? What's not happening? Home me zidi but kazi na zidi kukupatia kompigo. Story lazima upate. But his most hyped song Wanani has been deleted from YouTube several hours ago and this has shocked his fans. It has gotten many asking why that happened considering Goma ilikuwa kali na ikateka anga vinoma. If you search the song on YouTube now, it's no longer available and if you're not a YouTuber, I'll tell you that there are several reasons that may lead to your video being pulled down from YouTube. One is when you do not own the rights to your content using someone else's music in a way that suggests you copied and pasted. In Barty's case, the song Wanani had copyright claim by a music duo from Nairobi calling themselves Jivu. So many perhaps have been asking who or what Jivu is and so have I. Na after kule kuchimba chimba YouTube, I made the channel of these two people describing themselves as Afrofusion singer and songwriter from Nairobi, Kenya. I think the way they wrote it, one of them is a songwriter and the other one is a singer and listening to their works they have a similar vibe to Bahati's it's surprising since the jam has already done rounds and for a couple of days Wanani has trended number one in Kenya should be coming as a shocker to Bahati if he really owns the rights to this song or the beat if the if instrumental is the one in dispute if not then me and you should brace ourselves with the reality that the love song and the first music Bahati declared not gospel will be missed I have a strong feeling though that Bahati will will have it returned. Magic Senga and Amonize had a similar field with Uno and Dundying's song. Eng had claimed that the beat that made Uno was a sample from Dundying and he had that song deleted for some days and after talks Uno was returned to YouTube.